Hello, so we are live again. It is 10 o'clock and we are all ready to do some key stage two yoga. No, um, it might be in one of my, um, like the block bags. Okay. Hi, okay, like someone's watching. Does the bag look like this? It's a cream bag with red, I can't. Okay, so we're live. Sorry about that. Just trying to get an eye pillow. So if everybody who's watching could get, um, if you've got an eye pillow, great, get one of them. If you've got a bean bag, great, get one of them. If you don't have any of those things, then just get a teddy like we've got here. <laughs> All right. So that's what you're going to need today. So if you haven't got a teddy or a bean bag or something you can balance basically on your head, then please go and get that now. Um, you also, if you want to, go and get a blanket for the relaxation because that's always really nice to snuggle up in a blanket. So if you haven't got something to balance on your head, a teddy and a blanket, then run and get it now ready to start, okay? And just wait for everyone to log in. We're ready, Laura, thank you. Hi, Shelley. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Amy. <laughs> All right, so... Um, how is everyone feeling? Hi, Sarah Jane. Lottie and Izzy. Hey. Um, okay. Hi, Sam. You got on. Well done. Okay. So, um, could you just put in your comments how you're feeling this morning? Every day might be different. Um, I'm sure there may be a bit of a roller coaster of emotions going on right now. So, um, it's nice that I can offer this to give you a bit of a break from that, hopefully a little bit of light and a little bit of joy because yoga certainly brings that. Okay. So, um, sunny Wednesday, it sure is. And we're having another spring theme, but it will be slightly different. We didn't do all the stuff that we were going to do yesterday and I'm going to be, um, focusing my audience more for eight to 11 year olds. So key stage two yoga. Okay. Tired already from Joe Wicks. Yeah, my kids have done Joe Wicks this morning too, so. <laughs> um, are you tired or are you okay? I you did, do it. You did a bit of it, didn't you? But not much, but you did it, didn't you? Yeah, are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great, Lily and Sam here. If you've just logged on, um, or if you just joined, sorry, then make sure you get a blanket if you want one for the end and something to pop. Can I just? This at the He's not giving it to me. Something to pop on your head. Thank you, Emily. Um, a teddy or something like that to just balance on your head. All right. Okay. So let's make a start then. So if you have a mat, then let's get on the mat. Okay. And um, let's make a start. Okay. So we always start our yoga um, by reminding ourselves of why it's good. I'm going to come a bit closer now, actually jump on this mat so you can see me okay. All right, so um, when I start with um, with children of this age, so this stage two, I normally go into a bit more depth about what yoga is and what it does. So on your mats, we're gonna cross our legs and we're gonna try and find our sit bones. We're gonna sit straight and tall. And then just, first of all, I'm gonna ask you, um, what is yoga good for? So can you put in the comments what you think yoga is good for? How does it benefit you? Thinking about the body. How does it benefit the body first of all? So we'll look at the body first. How does it benefit the body? I'm just going to come up a bit closer to read some of the comments. Morning. Gorgeous. Hi, Maisie. Natasha, hi. Ava, hi, Ava. There we go. Okay. So, um, so yeah. Just let me know, um, calming for the body, yeah, great. Anything else that, how it benefits the body. So it helps to keep your body flexible, um, that's great, yeah. So about the flexibility side, thank you so much. Um, it, it keeps the body flexible and strong in equal measures. So um, yoga is all about balance. So it's keeping the balance of the body. So if you're really, really, really strong, then um, you are more likely to um, suffer injuries. If you're really, really, really flexible and not strong, then you're more likely to get injured. So yoga gives you that balance 
okay? So a balance of flexibility and strength for the muscles, the joints, the bones. Great, so anything else that yoga is good for for the body? All right. Strength and flexibility and calming, yeah. Core strength, yeah, okay. So that's all to do with the muscles. Okay, we're going on to the mind in a minute, Eva, thank you. Um, so also yoga is good for the inside of the body. Um, can you think of what inside the body yoga might be good for? So think about what's inside your body, guys. Can you tell me what's inside your body and how yoga might benefit? Oh, it's good for the immune system, great, yes. And it helps to promote sleep as well, yeah. Okay, so your core, yeah. Okay, so it strengthens all the muscles in the core, but it's also the organs, so it's good. Thank you, Debbie, breathing. We'll go on to that. So it's good for the lungs. <laughs> um, so the, the difference between yoga and any other exercise is that you are combining the movement and the breathing together. So it's super, super effective. And it is really good for your nervous system because of that. So when you are breathing um, soft, long breaths, when you're moving and you're linking that, you're calming the nervous system. So um, you, you're also expanding your lung capacity. So you're making your lungs really, really strong. Um, so that helps with your mind as well. Okay, it also helps the internal organs because while you're moving around, um, you're helping the organs in your body to move around each other, which is really healthy because the organs can um, work in a really good way inside your body. Thank you. Organ function. Great. Heart. Yes. Keeps the heart nice and strong. The circulation as well. So all that stuff inside you. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, but yeah, it's all good for inside the body. Um, the lungs. It's good for the nervous system. Guys, does anyone know where the nervous system is and where the main source of it is? Can anyone show me the spine? So if you're, oh, you can't show me, but <laughs> let's just have a look. So it's at the base of the skull here. It runs all the way down the middle of your back. Sorry. <laughs> down the middle of your back there. So when we do yoga, we always sit with our spine straight so that all the messages from the brain to the rest of the body can be nice and clear and we can get those messages effectively, all right? So great. So that's all why yoga is good for the body. Um, and it's good for the mind because of the breathing side, the nervous system. Um, and anyone, so we've got the body, we've got the mind, and also what about the spirit? So we say yoga is good for the spirit. Um, and yoga helps that balance and connection of the body, the mind, and the spirit. So what is it when I'm talking about the spirit? Have a little think. Okay, so the spirit is, um, I get some interesting answers from children when we talk about this. Sometimes they say ghosts and things like that. And I say, you know, it's not actually to do with that. <laughs> um, so it, I say for yoga, it's about kind of discovering who you actually are inside, okay? So a um, bit of a self, journey of self-discovery, okay? So I say to kids, we've all got something special to give the rest of the world. And yoga helps you to um, find that, okay? So when you find what it is that sort of turns your light on, your passion, what you can give to yourself and others, and then you can go back out into the community, into the world and share that with people, then you are living from a place of truth and also it gives you a real sense of joy, okay? So that's what I mean by spirit, there we go. So let's get on our mats and let's remind ourselves of why we practice yoga. So crossing our legs, sitting on our sit bones, and remember what I said about the spine needing to be really straight so that our body's working to its optimum. Okay, so we're going to say yoga is good for our bodies. So give yourselves a big hug. See if you can touch your shoulder blades. That's it. So your shoulder blades are these bones that stick out here. Okay. And then yoga is good for our minds. So hands or fingers either side of your temples. Close your eyes for a moment. Check in. And with your eyes closed, do some soft, 
slow circles either side of your temples. And ask yourself in your head voice, your quiet voice, how am I? How am I? And then we say yoga is good for us. Spirits and big arms, big arms coming around really slow as you breathe out. So at key stage two, we're going to start to link the breath and the movement now. Okay, so we're going to do a sun salutation. And if you can try and start to breathe uh, when I say, then great. If you find it tricky, then don't worry. Just try and copy the movements. Okay. So standing at the top of your mat, sun salutations, they um, warm up all the different parts of the body. All, all different parts of the body, sorry. Okay, so it's really good to do in the morning, first thing, and it's also um, a great way to thank the sun, because the sun is amazing. So coming to the top of your mat, actually I'm just going to stand here so you can see me, but you stand at the top of your mat, everybody, okay? And you're just going to look down at your feet, spread your toes, see if you can get some space in between the toes. Feel the feet really grounded down into the floor. And then bring your arms down by your side. So you're going to breathe in, come onto your tiptoes. And then breathe out slowly lower. Breathing in, lifting up onto the toes. And then breathing out and lower. And one more time, breathing in, coming on to the toes. And breathing out and lower, well done. Okay, so now you're just gonna lift the toes, just the toes, so don't come onto the heels, but just lift the toes as you breathe in. And then breathe out, place your toes back down. Breathing in, lift your toes. Breathing out and down. Keep your feet really still and grounded. Breathing in, lift your toes. And breathing out, bring them down. Okay. Now we're going to breathe in, bring our arms over the head. And then breathe out and come into a forward fold. Breathing in, coming up. Deep breath in and breathing out, fold once again. So we're linking the breath and the movement. Breathing in, coming up. And then breathing out and fold. Okay, so breathing in now, step the right leg all the way back to the back of the mat. And then bring the left, oh, bring the right knee down. Okay, and breathe in, coming up. Well done. Breathing out, hands either side of the left foot. And then step the left foot to meet the right, and we're going to make a nice long straight plank. Push through your heels and lift through the crown of your head, tuck your chin in. So if I was to get a ruler, then you would be nice and straight. Let me see your straight body, hips down, that's it, and hold. And then bring your knees down, your chest and chin, your elbows come um, back and keep them tucked in as you breathe in and lift up. And then breathe out, come down. Tuck your toes under, breathe in, downward facing dog. Lift your dog tails high, give them a little wiggle. Now we're going to step the right foot all the way forwards. If we need to bring the left knee down to do that, then do that, okay? And then breathe in, coming all the way up. Low pleasant lunge here. Breathing out hands either side of the right foot. And then bring the left foot to meet the right. Breathing in, coming all the way up, and breathing out hands either side. Stay here, close your eyes for a moment, in mountain pose. Tuck your chin in, feel a nice length to the back of the neck, shoulders soften. And then we're going to repeat the again now on the left side. So breathing in, bring the arms all the way up, breathing out and fold. Step the left foot Back, bring the left knee down, breathe in, come up, and then breathe out, hands either side of the right foot, step the right foot to meet the left, nice strong plank. Bring your hips down, bring your hips down, yep, yeah, nice strong plank. Bring your knees down as you breathe out, elbows down all the way to the mat. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, 
Your elbows tucked in as you breathe in, too many cobra. Breathing out, come down, and then breathing in, down, facing dog. Breathing out here, and then breathing in, step the left foot all the way forward, bring the right knee down, and come all the way up. Good, well done. Breathing out, hands either side of the left foot, right foot meets the left as you breathe out, and then breathe in, coming all the way up. And breathing out, hands come down. Staying here for a moment, close your eyes in mountain pose to Dasana. Fingers re reach gently down to the earth. And then bring your hands to your heart and come and sit down. Sit down there if you want. Or sit down there. There we go. All right, so that's the sun salutation to warm our bodies up. We're just going to think about spring again. I'm going to turn this music off again. So spring is a time for new beginnings. It's also a time when the um, days get longer and the nights get shorter. So we have more sunshine, we have more light. Okay, so thinking about new beginnings, it's a time where we plant new seeds. Think about how you can plant a new seed in your life. So maybe you might start something new. You've got all this time at home, okay? So maybe try something new that you haven't tried before. Maybe you might find your passion doing that. So, you know, sim spring is really symbolic of new beginnings, new starts. And if it's any unwanted behaviours or emotions that you want to just let go of, then let go of them to make room for new beginnings, new start, fresh new you, okay? So... This is symbolic of a seed, okay? So thinking about planting seeds. So we're not just gonna physically plant seeds in our garden, we're also gonna think of how we're gonna plant seeds in our own lives. So standing up, we're gonna imagine that we are just preparing the, this, yeah. We're preparing the soil, okay? So bend that front knee and we're gonna come into warrior pose. And we're gonna get our shovels and we're gonna dig deep, ready? Keep going, keep going, it's not got no, any connection, I've not got any connection. What is it ended? It says poor connection network, mm -hmm. I don't know whether we're actually, okay. It was like a minute ago. Okay, keep going, and then we're going to go the other side, there's a big orange thing across the front. Going to go the other side, keep going. Okay, so we've got the soil ready, and now we're going to bring our legs nice and wide, and we're going to plant our seeds. Okay, so bending forward, planting the seeds all the way from one foot, all the way to the other. That's it. So just tapping down in between the legs, one side to the other side. Keep going. Well done. Lovely. And then we're going to just um, get our fingers and just sway our fingers gently from left to right. Now as we do that, we're gonna bend into the knees and get really down. And imagine that you are softening all the top soil, all that lovely uh, soil at the top, okay? All the compost, all the lovely nutrients in the earth ready for the seeds to grow. Well done. And now we've done that, slowly coming up, we need to get some sunshine and some rain onto our seeds, right? So coming down and bringing our, you can go over there, that's it, so they can see. So legs out in front of you, toes the sky, we're going to get the rain, so get your rain drop fingers and gently feel the rain on the top of your head, so... Raindrops are falling on my head. Now move to your forehead. Raindrops are falling on your forehead and your cheeks. They're falling on your neck. Now tapping your chest ready. Raindrops are falling on your chest and your shoulders and down your arms. They're falling on your tummy. Raindrops are falling on your thighs and to your shins. They're falling 
on your ankles Raindrops are falling on your feet and your toes Back to your head Okay, so we have the rain We also need the sunshine for the seeds to grow So coming, kneeling up and then big arms, so bringing your hands together, breathing in, and then breathing out. And again, breathing in, and then breathing out. And one more time, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. Okay, so we've got the sunshine and we have the rain. Now, we're going to go on to insects. So, because we, we didn't get to do some insects yesterday. So, um, there was one that we didn't do, um, which was Ladybird, I think people mentioned. So, um, we're going to have a go at Ladybird. But if you have... Yeah, I know, it did get frozen. I'm, apologies, I think it's back on. So... Um, if you have any suggestions for insects that might be attracted to all these wonderful plants that we're growing, Spiders. then please suggest them. We're going to go into tree pose while you're suggesting some, um, some insects, okay? Right, so come onto the mat, and this is when you're going to get your teddy, all right? And we're going to start by crossing our legs, crossing our legs. One. Ready? And place it on your head. So I've got an eye pillow, but you can use a teddy. So sit up straight, place it on your head. Then bring your hands by your side, spread your fingers. Now the challenge is, is we're going to very slowly, again, we're going to very slowly go up to standing without touching the floor. Okay? So really slowly. Imagine that you're a seed and we're growing. Really, 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 really slowly, coming up, coming up. Okay, so you're gonna be a tree. So bring your heel onto your foot and bring your toe coming out, your knee comes out. We're being trees, we're being straight and tall. Remember, yesterday, if you were watching yesterday, I was saying about getting something to focus on so that you can um, use what we call in yoga, your dristy gaze. Okay, so it helps you to focus and concentrate. All right, now you have your focus and concentration. There's no hurry with this. So it's more about stillness, okay? We're gonna bring the foot now to the calf. So you can bring your hands to your hips or maybe you might like to spread your branches now. Please bypass the knee because the knee is a joint. We don't want to put the foot on the knee and put any pressure on there. So if you want to stay here with your foot on the calf, then this is great yoga. This is great yoga too. Or you might like to now bring your foot to your thigh. And then your knee comes out and you stand straight and tall. And you might like to bring your arms over the head like this. And then the extra challenge for Key Stage 2, two children. So you're a bit older, you might be able to close your eyes. Okay, so close your eyes and see. It's, it's really hard, yeah. So close your eyes, see if you can still stay balanced. Okay, now put that foot down. I'm going to do the other side. So start with the heel, the other foot, the other heel on. Toe comes out and knee comes out. Feel those roots. And then bring your hands out your branches. Bring your foot to your calf. Stay tall and strong. Now bypass the knee, so don't put the foot on the knee, and bring your foot to your thigh. If you can't do that, it doesn't matter, this is still tree, tree pose. Yoga is not a competition, okay? This is yoga, this is yoga, this is yoga. This is not yoga, okay? So try and stay really still. Now, if you're here or here, see if you can close your eyes and not wobble. This is really good for focus here. Well done, guys. Keep going. Fantastic. And slowly bring your foot down. Keep your hands up. 
And we're going to now slowly sit down without losing our teddy or bean bag or whatever we have on our head. Well done. And then just bring your hands together there. Thank you. Well done. Okay. So let's have a look at some of your suggestions. Um, a bee. Yeah, we're definitely going to do bee. We're going to do butterfly. I said ladybird first. So we'll do ladybird. Okay. So standing up. We're going to fly like a ladybird. Okay, so um, standing up, standing up, standing up, okay, using something again on the floor, you don't have to get anything, you might just find a crumb or something on the floor to help you to balance, okay, okay, all right, then we're going to come on to one tiptoe, hands on hips, okay, then bring this tiptoe behind you, and then bring your arms out like a ladybird flying, okay? Now lift that tiptoe off the floor. You can either stay here and count how long you can do it for, or you might be able to lift it a bit higher, and as you do, you bring your body forwards. <laughs> Jacob's, <laughs> Jacob is leaning on my leg, on my back leg, so that's an extra challenge. Please don't do that, thank you, okay. And then we're gonna bring that leg down. We're gonna come onto the other toe, like this. Bring this toe behind you. That's it. You might come forward a bit. There we go, you've got a bit more room. And then bring your arms out. Lift your back toe. Find your balance first. If you wobble, just put that back toe down again. It's okay. And then begin to lift and slowly come forwards. Well done, that's fine. <laughs> Jacob's using me again. Well done. Yes. And then we're gonna fly down, and someone mentioned butterfly. So bring your feet together. What about the spider? Pardon? What is before the butterfly? I don't think we're gonna have time. We did caterpillar yesterday, didn't we? So ready? Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Now we're going to go to sleep, so we're just going to hang our head round our spine and keep your butterfly wings flying. Ready? Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Grabbing a hold of your big toes with your two four fingers, you're going to see if you can bounce on your sit bones and then stretch your legs out wide. Ready? Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Okay, so I have B. Let's have a look at some more suggestions then. Spider. Butterflies. Spider. A worm. Spider. A wiggly worm, spider. yeah? Spider. Okay. A spider. So, okay, so spiders. Um, what do we do for spider? Yes, I do remember. So bring your legs wide, okay? On your mat, Emily. Ready? So bring your legs wide, okay? And you're going to bring your toes slightly out. Sink your hips down like this, okay? And then you're going to get one hand and you're going to bring it underneath and around the back of your leg and then give me a wave with that hand, yeah? And then we're going to do the same with the other arm, through and under, around the back of your leg, and give me a wave. Yeah. So, now we have our spider. You can stay like this, or you can walk like a spider, like this. Come on then. Walking around the room like a spider. <laughs> can you move your feet? That's it. All the way around. <laughs> Try not to fall, you're right. <laughs> okay, well done. Um, anything else 
that we've got. We've got a worm. I was going to do a worm. So lie down. Oh, beetle. I just saw beetle. Yep, we'll do a beetle. Lie on your mat. Okay. And then you're going to interlace your fingers together and then just um, stick your forefinger out. And you're going to lie on your tummy. And then really stretch through your fingers. Point your toes. Make your body as long as possible. Almost like someone's pulling your toes and someone's pulling your arms. So you're really stretching and making your body long and strong, okay? And then you're gonna lift your arms off the floor and then lift your legs off the floor and you're going to wiggle from left to right, but don't drop your elbows and don't drop your knees. So you need to lift your knees and your elbows especially <laughs> off the floor. And then wiggle, 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 that's worm, um, yeah. You said we do beetle. Oh, we're going to do beetle now. Okay, so oh. lie on your backs. Okay, so we're going to lie on our backs, hold on to our big toes. Okay, if you go a bit more that way, then they can see. That's it. Um, hold on to your big toes, bring your knees in towards your armpits, and then you can rock from side to side. So this is a beetle who is stuck on its back, okay? So it's trying to get up, it's trying to rock from side to side. And then you're gonna wave your arms and your legs because you're stuck, somebody help me, there we go. Give everything a big shake. Well done. And then rolling up, well done. Okay, so I think we're going to stop there with the breath. So crossing your legs. No, not fair. Um, actually, we can, no, that's not an insect. We'll do that next week. Okay, so crossing your legs, we're going to do B breath. So again, you can get your um, fingers like this. Let's just see if there's anything at beetles. Um, getting your fingers behind your ears and then just gently closing your ears safely. So don't put your fingers in your ears. You just fold your ear back. Um, it, over your hole and then cover your ear like that. Can you go back on the mats, please? Can you go back on the mats to show them, please? Thank you. So, covering your ear, you're going to breathe in, and then when you breathe out on the exhale, you make a B noise. And you can hear the vibrations inside. So, be really mindful of the vibrations that you hear inside. And those vibrations are really, really calming to do. So um, I always suggest be breath for um, children who become overstimulated by lots of sort of sensory stimulation. If they if they're feeling overwhelmed, if there's lots of noise going on, if there's lots of lights um, going on, then this one's a really good one to do because it really helps to bring them back inside again uh, to a place that is calm. And the vibrations also. Um, trigger the um, the calming uh, nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. All right, so it's a really nice one to do when you're feeling really stressed and overwhelmed and anxious. Okay, so you can do that, or you can just cover your ears with the palm of your hand. Okay, remember sit up tall and straight with your spine. Then you can get all the air in your breath. So sorry, all the breath into your lungs even. Um, now, I do say to, to uh, I do teach people that you can survive about three weeks on average without food. You can survive about three days on average without water, but only about three minutes on average without air. So breathing is so, so important. So these breathing techniques will really help you to calm, they will increase the oxygen in the body to help you to feel a nice energy throughout the day, okay? So there's also rela there's a relaxing breathing techniques and there's also energizing breathing techniques. This is a really calming one as well as using the vibration. That's quite a lot of talking, sorry. So covering your ears, closing your eyes, taking a deep breath in, Soften the shoulders, be aware of any tension. Breathe in and then breathe out. And 
when you finish the exhale, then slowly bring your hands down. And then bring your knees in to your chests. Give yourselves a big hug for doing a little bit of self-care today. Bring your forehead down onto your knees and just allow your spine to round. Take a deep breath in and out. And then slowly coming down to your mat for your relaxation. If you want to get a blanket, please do. If you have an eye pillow at home, then get your eye pillow and place it over your eyes, okay? So everyone lying down, getting yourselves nice and comfortable. You wanna bring your legs long, your arms down by your sides. And just maybe wriggle around, so just give your hips a little wriggle until they feel comfortable. Maybe give your arms a little bit of a wiggle, just a floppy um, shake from side to side until you just feel totally relaxed. Maybe give your arms a bit of a shake, your hands a bit of a shake, and then just allow them to flop gently down to your sides. And just allow your shoulders now to soften against the mat. Just gently tuck the chin in so you've got a nice long back of the neck. Just allow the toes to fall out to the sides. And if you can, close the eyes. Now just imagine you are in a beautiful garden somewhere. It may be somewhere in your mind that you can picture, or maybe somewhere where you've been before that's really beautiful, that makes you feel really safe and really, really calm and relaxed. See with your eyes closed if you can picture this place. You're now in this place and you feel really, really safe and What do you see around you? Have a look around you in this garden. What colors do you see? What shapes do you see? What patterns do you see? Is anything moving around you? And now bring your attention to the different scents that you can smell. Wonderful, delicate aromas around you, making you feel calm. just become aware of what you can hear. What sounds do you hear around you? The sounds that you hear are soothing and help you to feel calm, safe and relaxed. to focus on a flower, the flower of your choice. So picturing this flower, what colours are on the flower of your choice? What do the petals look like? How does it smell? 
as you look at the flower, it fills your heart with contentment and joy. Joy for the beauty of this earth, all the plants and creations within it. As you hold the flower gently in your hands, how do the petals feel? Smooth like velvet, so delicate as you touch it. And you feel inspired and in awe of the intricacies of our earth. Just to think that this flower was once a seed in amongst all the dirt and the earth and the darkness. The seed persevered, carried on, showed resilience in the face of darkness. With determination, the seed sprouted. And then it began to see light. And in this light, this beautiful seed bloomed into a flower and showed its true beauty. Rising up against adversity, this flower developed and showed its true colours to all. How can you show your true colours? What seeds are you going to plant? How are you going to bloom and shine? What are you going to show to the world? And then wiggling your fingers and your toes. Stretching your body long and thin. Give yourselves a big hug. And rock gently from side to side. And then slowly come to sitting. And keep your eyes closed for a moment. Rub your hands together really, really quickly. Still with your eyes closed, create some heat in the palms of your hands. So when they feel really, really warm and hot, then place them over your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a long, soft breath out. A long breath in and a soft breath out. And then slowly open your eyes Bring your finger, your forefinger to your thumb. Gently rest the back of your hand on your knees and say peace. Your middle finger begins your forefinger with your little finger knee. Your spine is straight and tall. Peace begins with me. Now in your head, peace begins with me. Hands to the heart showing gratitude for the spring. Thank you to the spring. Thank you for new beginnings. Thank you for my yoga practice. Namaste. So namaste means the highest form of me, the best version of myself, honours and recognises the best version of yourself. So that honouring acknowledgement to each other. Namaste. Thank you very much. You feel really, really tired now. You can say goodbye. So goodbye from Jacob. Yeah. And goodbye from Emily. Goodbye, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> They're very tired after, after their um, workout. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Keep watching. Um, we are doing some teen yoga tomorrow, so you will um, have the pleasure of meeting Finley and maybe Emily too. 
Um, so that's very different again. So thank you so much for joining if you did. Um, please put some comments in, the, in um, so that I can see what you enjoyed um, and what you'd like to see and I can keep it all coming. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Now